Hey guys, welcome to Historiac, where we uncover the secrets behind the biggest moments in history. Today we're going to talk about the man named Thomas Fuller, the African-American genius, also known as the Virginia Calculator. Before we start, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's Black History Month, so let's talk about something we as black people hate the most. Math. Okay, I'm kidding, but we all know how everybody feels about math. The story of Thomas Fuller is really interesting. This story begins way back in the 1700s in a land far away with no Wi-Fi, cars, or YouTube. Sounds like so much fun. Anyway, Thomas Fuller was an African, shipped to America as a slave in 1724, at the age of 14. Thomas Fuller was a slave name given by his slave masters. He was born in 1710 somewhere between the slave coast of West Africa, which is known as Liberia, the kingdom of Dahomey, which is known as Benin. It is actually very interesting where Thomas was born, as we now know as Liberia was the first African Republic to proclaim its independence during the scramble for Africa and is the continent's first and oldest modern republic. Liberia began in the early 19th century as a project of the American Colonization Society, ACS, which believed black people would face better chances for freedom and prosperity in Africa than the United States. When Thomas Fuller was born, Liberia did not exist. Between 1822 and the outbreak of the American Civil War in 1861, more than 15,000 people freed and freeborn black people who faced social and legal oppression in the U.S., along with 3,198 Afro-Caribbeans relocated to Liberia. Benin, on the other hand, was a French-speaking West African nation and is the birthplace of the Vudin or Vudu religion and, as we know, was the home to the former Dahomey Kingdom from 1600s to 1900s. Vudin is a religion practiced by the Aja, Ewe, and Fon people of Benin, Togo, Ghana, and Nigeria. Elements of the West African religion have survived slavery and evolved into current forms of religions with similar names that are found in the New World among the African diaspora and in the Americas, such as Haitian Voodoo, Louisiana Voodoo, Cuban Voodoo, Dominican Voodoo, Venezuelan UU, and Brazilian Voodoo. This religion was a part of the misconception that Thomas Fuller, who we mention as mass genius, was viewed as a man possessing magic power. He was taken away from his native land during the scramble for slaves and sold as a slave. At the age of 14, Fuller was taken to Colonial America. Fuller was illiterate as he could not read and write in English, but he had a rare gift, the ability to give accurate and speedy calculation which for so many years had stunned the colonizers. Also known as Negro Tom, he lived in Virginia after being brought to the United States as a slave, where he gained the nickname of the Virginia Calculator. Later in his life, he was property of Elizabeth Cox of Alexandria. He had such remarkable powers of calculations that even travels wandered from far just to witness his skill. In the later years of his life, he was discovered by anti-slavery campaigners who used him as a demonstration that blacks are not mentally inferior to whites. When he was about 70 years old, two gentlemen natives of Pennsylvania, William Hartshorn and Samuel Coates, having heard in traveling through the neighborhood in which the slave lived of this extraordinary powers in arithmetic, they sent for him and had their curiosity gratified by the answers which he gave the following questions. He could multiply huge numbers solely in his head. No need to check the answers. He could trust what he said. First, upon being asked how many seconds there were in a year and a half, he answered in about two minutes, 304,000. Second, on being asked how many seconds a man has lived who is 70 years, 17 days, and 12 hours old, he answered in a minute and a half, 2,210,500,800. Trust me when I say I can't even do that in my head in 2023, even if you gave me a half an hour to figure that out. One of the gentlemen who employed himself to this pen in making these calculations told him he was wrong and the sum was not as great as he said, upon which Thomas replied, Stop, master, you forgot the leap here. 
After taking into consideration the leap year and their calculations, they agreed with Fuller. They later submitted Fuller's computational abilities to the abolitionist. Another question was asked satisfactorily answered. Before two other gentlemen, he gave the amount of nine figures multiplied by nine. In 1790, he died at the age of 80 years old, having never learned to read or write in spite of his extraordinary power of calculation. In present day, there's a claim that Fuller learned to calculate in Africa before he was brought to the United States as a slave. Supporting evidence for this comes from a passage written by Thomas Clarkson, an English ableist in 1788, describing the purchase of African slaves. He said in a quote, It is astonishing with what facility the African brokers reckon upon the exchange of European goods for slaves. One of these brokers has 10 slaves to sell and for each he demands 10 different articles. He reduces them immediately by the head suit bars, coppers, ounces, and immediately strikes a balance. The European, on the other hand, takes his pen and with great deliberation and with all the advantage of arithmetic and letters, begins to estimate also. He's so unfortunate as to make a mistake, but he no sooner errs than he is detected by this man of inferior capacity whom he can neither deceive in the name of quality of his goods, nor in the balance of his account. The two men later submitted Fuller's computational abilities to the abolitionist. We can say that Fuller's knowledge greatly contributed to the abolition of slavery. As seeing a black man who at the time was seen as inferior race to do something so remarkable that even those who see themselves as superior had to be astonished and realize the potential of black people. Fuller died on Cox Farm near Alexandria, Virginia in 1790. He was 80. If only Fuller could have seen how much impact he had on the world, as we now have little black boys and girls who are math geniuses in their own right and every black child given the right to education when it was once thought as impossible. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and again, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See y'all in the next one.